On March 27, 2024, Eight-year-old Camila Gomez Ortega disappeared around 3 p.m. in the La Florida neighborhood of Taxco, Guerrero. A day later her lifeless body was located on a road. Family and friends pointed out that the little girl went to play at a neighbor's house around 1 p.m. at 4. The mother called the neighbor to ask about her. However, the woman informed her that Camila did not come to her house. Minutes later, Camila's mother began to receive calls from unknown numbers asking her for 250,000 Mexican pesos for the release of the girl. At that time, another neighbor showed the mother a video where you can see that the girl did arrive at the home where she had been invited to play. There is video on social media where the neighbor is seen taking a bottle of dirty clothes out of her house and is helped by a man, who carries a black bag. They both throw things in the trunk of a taxi and then leave the place. Relatives of the little girl indicated that they could have carried her body in the black bag. After this, several went to a police station to report the facts and thanks to this the taxi driver was arrested, who revealed the place where they left Camilla. As soon as she found the body d'Este, Camilla's mother demanded that the authorities arrest the family with whom her daughter was for the last time, but they told them that before they had to request an order from the judge. In the morning no one went to arrest the alleged culprits so the anger between the girl's relatives and neighbors began to grow. In the end, a group of people entered the house of the alleged culprits and found the woman who appeared in the video and who said that Camilla had not gone to her house. The group entered the house. They hit everyone, but they focused on the woman and the two men. They took them out, beat them, dragged them down the stairs until they were lowered to Los Plateros Avenue. Everything turned into brutality. They had no mercy. Some gave them with a closed fist, others with kicks, with their knees, with their elbows with sticks, with tubes, with stones. The police and military just saw. The three of them had their faces disfigured. Blood flowed through their noses, foreheads, mouths. After a respite, the two young people were rescued by police and military, they took them out of the mob. The woman was put on a municipal police patrol, but the blows didn't stop. An hour later, the woman who was accused of having kidnapped and murdered Camilla died as a result of the beatings. She was identified as Ana Rosa Diaz Aguilar.